here with Nene again. Okay guys, so from the title you know that this is part two of something that we already started to talk about on Nene's channel and that is why Igbo girls leave their boyfriend to go marry husband. husband. Why that? Why this? Why this? Yeah, and if you haven't watched that video, I would suggest that you go watch that before you come here and watch this yeah, so that this you like, have context. Yeah. Um, but basically, in this video, what I'm going to be talking about is the effects of that kind of heartbreak on, on the, the person. Men. And also, in cases where the marriage was like a business transaction, the possible i mean like, i'm saying possible because sometimes the couple can learn to you know understand each other and mm. love each other and everything and that won't be a problem that's but in cases rare. when but that's very rare mm -hmm. you know in cases where that doesn't happen the possible effects that that could have on your child as well on, would on want to you as on you person. as a person yeah. on the parents because like any small thing me and my husband are fighting i move out of the house today i'm not going back there mm -hmm. and all of that they might not even be they might not even move out they might just be like two strangers living in the house, in the same house. so when your parents come together you're acting all lovely lovely because they're the ones who you know put you guys together and then when they leave it's something entirely different so you're like you're not happy because the person you would yeah. have been happy with maybe you left because or the person wasn't ready at the time or there was pressure from your parents and then you had to leave mm. or maybe you were just greedy self and you saw money and, and you know your, to, your you, was. yeah you just <laughs> yeah when this type of thing happens happens you put yourself in a like you create this endless cycle that just keeps happening and how does this start you meet an innocent guy you are a girl might not be innocent. right he might not be innocent, but he might not just be a heartbreaker in that moment or know? in that time. He might not just be. How do you know? You meet a guy and then y'all date and then you maybe... You people were still together on Saturday morning. You people went to the beach on Saturday, you know. No, came back Friday by Friday morning. Mm, Saturday. Friday, then Saturday. It's not the traditional wedding. Was it? Okay, I see. Yes, yes, people went to the beach on Friday morning, you know, 3 p.m. And then Saturday night, he checked his email and saw wedding invitation, invitation from you for Saturday morning. <laughs> no, but they, I don't think they invite the guys. I don't think they invite the boyfriends. Um, sometimes they invite them. Sometimes they invite Abby. Yeah. They invite them sometimes now. Ah, okay. That one this one, the friend. story that I know, the one I posted on my Instagram, mm. the guy was invited to the wedding. He got the invite. Like it's not even about oh he heard it from somebody. It's like oh I got the invite, but I just want to tell him. Maybe too hard. We're not dating. Yeah, it was just an. It was your own an argument. But yeah, it could be that machine. Yeah, yeah. But like, you create that the guy feels sad, and this actually gives birth to a lot of things that i'm not in agree like i'm not in agreement with but they happen the first thing is that it sort of breeds heartbreakers but that's not an excuse though yes it's not an it's excuse, not an excuse like, for you to there's behave never because somebody did this to this you. to you yes yeah. and goes back to, goes to the next point i'm going to make as well there's never a reason to misbehave like yeah. you are a heartbreaker eh? Huh? so like you're a heartbreaker because somebody did this to you Right, the person that did this to you has moved on, and you are breaking somebody else's heart. heart. That Do you doesn't get? know. That doesn't even doesn't like have any. But yes, in yeah. a way that because this thing, this, these experiences, and it's not even about the person that you're hurting. It's just about who you've become. Yeah. It, yeah, but what I mean is, it changes your character, right? It changes how you interact. Like based on your experiences in life, sometimes for some people they tend to build this like maybe wall around themselves yeah. or just be able to and that now affects like their future relationships they might not mean for that to happen sometimes sometimes they might be deliberate that yes girls are dealt with me i'm going to deal with other girls whatever mm. it is some, some people are like that and i'm sorry they don't have sense but it happens other things that we're talking about the the guy is not ready to pass mm. it breeds fraudulent men they are not looking at it it breeds fraudulent mm. men mm. because mm. Yeah. Not, yeah, they're not enthusiastic about wanting to go a step wanting further. Wanting to try. Yeah. But or they might not even um, they might not even be in a serious relationship. 
or they might just be just from entanglement to entanglement to entanglement because you know they've been heartbroken so but I, but I still think it actually breeds for the next one i'll tell you why mm. most times when these things happen when these girls leave these guys that they're with 70 percent of the time there's money involved the guy is not ready the guy is not like i looked up you do your research it. whatever everybody will be okay <laughs> last last but in most of the cases that i've seen and heard the story of is that the guy is not ready mm. financially it's never that the guy is not ready mentally the guy is not ready mentally and there's money that they will choke their head inside no, that I think relationship the financial part is just more prominent it's not that there's no or the guy is not ready emotionally or physically or whatever is well, that the guy does not have money yet the guy is not the guy is not paying rent and the guy is not settled yeah but why are you to somebody who isn't settled anyway? yes definitely sure but at the same time what i'm saying is like when you leave this guy the guy now sees it as a eh abi it's because i it now becomes an oh it's because i don't have money abi mm. this money i'll, I'll make it in this it. life <laughs> you get what i mean I and then <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah, i used to be in money yeah i don't remember and then yeah, yeah, before you know it's like like now nah, they kept on saying but that one was not that one was not because of big that one yeah. was because of constant rejection yeah you get and then it's like oh because i don't have money i'll be okay no problem this money mm-hmm. i'll make it in this life and then they start no, trying thing now. so the hard work has motivated the guy to do better and get the money that he didn't have to before. do better and get the money that he didn't yeah. have before but so sometimes so what these people actually move. so how does it make them fraudulent that's my question because do like i mean we all know that fraud is the quickest way to make money i disagree is the how else what's the quickest way I to make money? no not that that's the quickest way to make money i just disagree that it makes them want to do fraud it makes them don't worry the if you can if, if you can it's the laziest way to make money exactly if you can go back to uni and mm-hmm. date and you are in year three mm-hmm. date a boy in year three and break his heart then check him in year four with a boss bench i promise you hey gosh <laughs> That's an exaggeration. <laughs> That's an exaggeration. It's in all cases that the guy becomes a fraud because he was heartbroken. How does that even make sense? I'm heartbroken, okay, let me get some my laptop. What caused the heartbreak? What caused the heartbreak? What caused the heartbreak? That the girl left him for somebody else now. If married. she left him for somebody richer, he will say, I will make money in this life. After he has tried like four business yeah, proposals, but why does he have to be and the money is still not coming. See? Why does he have to be fraud? There are other ways that you can make fast money. The other way is that you can make fast money. Yeah. In this country. Yes. Please can you, I'm looking for money. Please, can you can you tell me? Don't worry, I'll tell you we off yeah. camera. We can't be sharing. Yeah, we can't share oh, I see, you I see, know, I see. such information. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's fine. cool. Um I think we talked about the main thing. Yeah. So now I want to talk about the effects on the girls. I think we've done that. On the girls. On the girls. That's if it was an arranged marriage. If it was an arranged right. marriage and the girl is not happy in marriage. Yeah, I think the girl will just not be happy. That's just that's the main Thing. And she might be having it and something. You might be having another, you know, outside. She now be thinking and play with match and go and ball. Like all the Nigerian yeah, when the children that. are now nineteen, they will not figure out that. See, I know the father of the child. Like all the Nigerian movies that this young girl is married to an old guy, but she doesn't like him. So like when the gardener comes in, you know the gardener usually have muscles and everything. Everything. You remember Mr. Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Ramsey Noir, Van Vika, no, and was it Mr. Mrs. It was, it was guilty Mr. pleasures. Guilty was pleasures, guilty pleasures, but it was it was her husband's brother. It was her husband's yes, husband's and it was just brother. because her husband didn't have time for her. It's not as if she didn't love her husband. I think at the end of the day, they settled it. I don't even remember. I think they settled it. It's just because her husband was never around, and her husband's brother was always there servicing her. <laughs> yeah, but, but I think the, the the woman would just she would not just be happy. Yeah, you know, should that be fronting for our parents? Like, okay, yeah, the one that put us together. Mm. Okay, when you come, let's just smile, or you know, be fine. I think the point is, um, and I talk about this a lot all the time. We talk about this a lot all the time. Yeah. Like, treat people well, show love to people around you. If you, and I'm not even talking about romantic love now. Like, if you were just the kind of person that you know obeyed the word of God and you loved your neighbor as you, you love yourself and as you love god you, there are some things you will not do yeah to and somebody even, that even, you're even for relationships i feel like if you are not if you are not sure that this person is for me don't don't drag it don't waste the person's time just end it there if you feel like just be honest if you feel like you're not interested anymore or you see somebody that has more money you don't need to say oh sorry i'm breaking up with you because you don't have enough money or you don't have as much money as this person just say oh i'm sorry it's not going to work out it might hurt the person but i don't think it would be as bad as 
when you just go and get married and the person sees it on Facebook. I don't I don't think that makes sense. Okay. So just be truthful, you know, if it's not working out, if you want somebody else, that's fine. Break up with the person and move on. Huge disclaimer. The fact that we're talking about this is because of a tweet that came out. Doesn't mean that men you're a bad demon. Hello, I'm looking at That's you. That's a story for another day. I am looking at you. It's a it separate doesn't video. It's a separate video. Yeah. All yeah. the shola. It doesn't hey, all, 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 all the fennies, all the larries, all the bengals. All the tobi. All the tolulopes, all the bengals. All the... You're bad names. Kule. Kule. Eh, shola. Um, um, have I said Yika, Dami, Dami Lola, but you said that Femi, Femi, Ayo, Ayo, exactly. Ah, you people do your own it's duo. True. I'm always reading Joro and I'm seeing all of you <laughs> every single day, every single day. So it's not because we chose to talk about this one today. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, don't worry, we're coming, for you. Like that. we're coming we are for, coming you. for you in a soon video. Just hold on, it's a coming soon video. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> thank hey, you. Thank you for thank you for watching. Don't forget, guys. The um, first part of this video is on Nene's channel. I'm yes. going to link it in the description. Please make sure that you subscribe, subscribe. like this video, share. Yeah. The button is here. Thank you. Thank you.